Thank you so much for being here. For those people that don't know who you are. Well, Eddie, I'm an astronaut. I uh, flew on Space Shuttle Discovery, STS-128, August 28, 2009, on a 14-day mission to the International Space Station, and I was the flight engineer. More importantly, I think people out there need to know that you're a Mexican-American. That's right. Because there aren't very many of us out there in space no. right now, right? No, no, there's very few Mexican-Americans, very few. As a matter of fact, I'm the only one who can say uh, a, a, a migrant farm working Mexican-American astronaut. One of the things that I heard you say up there was very interesting is we have a very similar background. My brothers were born in Mexico. Your, some of your family was born in Mexico. Tell me how you were. You ended up being born here and they ended up being born over there. Well, it's very funny because, you know, uh, we, we work in the fields. My family worked in the fields and they were migrant farm workers. So they moved up and down California nine months out of the year. And three months they would go back home to Mexico. So depending on what part of the year you were born dictated what country you were born in. So you had a 9 in 12 chance in my family to be born in the United States. And I was born in August, so I fell within that nine month window. You know, it, it was a tough uh, upbringing uh, because you, we went to three different school districts uh, throughout one school year. And then we missed three months of school by taking homework back to Mexico. And uh, so it was hard. Uh, I didn't uh, learn the English language until I was about 12 years old because of the, that reason. It wasn't until my second grade teacher finally came home to our house after I told her I needed three months worth of homework because this is the fourth time she was doing it. She had done it for my three older siblings. And it wasn't until then that, uh, that when she came home and read my parents the riot act saying, hey, you know, it doesn't do any good for them to be moving around, that finally my dad got the, uh, got the hint that we should stay in one place and we started making Stockton, California our home. Can you tell us a little bit about your, what happened when you told your dad you wanted to be an astronaut and, and what were those five tips that he told you? Because I think those are brilliant and then of course add your six because that's icing on the cake. Actually, I was 10 years old when when the dream uh, was born inside of me, I wanted to be an astronaut. And best thing I could have done was to share that dream with my dad because he took me to the kitchen table. And uh, he must have seen my determination because he gave me a recipe I never forgot. He said, son, if you want to be an astronaut, he said, follow these five steps. It's the five ingredient recipes. Decide what you want to be in life. Recognize how far you are from that goal. Draw yourself a roadmap to guide you. Get a good education, no substitute for an education. And, uh, and work hard. Same work ethic you put picking all those fruits and vegetables in the field. He said, you point it to my book, says you put it in the book. But even with all that energy you put into it, you weren't guaranteed that you were going to become an astronaut. Can you tell us how, oh, what absolutely. happened? Well, the sixth ingredient that I was going to add is perseverance. Is you can't give up. And I learned that through experience because NASA rejected me not once, not twice, not even three or four times. It was 11 times. It wasn't until the 12th time that I finally got selected. So you got to persevere and you got to improve yourself year after year. And, you know, I tell them, one, you know, once I started getting rejected and things didn't go my way, I started asking my question, I got to do things differently. So I got to improve myself. And so I became a pilot. I became a scuba diver. I learned Russian language. I did everything that I thought NASA would want me to do to become an astronaut and it paid off. And, and now you are a beacon of hope for a lot of kids out there. You were shaking hands with a lot of little kids who are just looking at you going like, that guy's been to space. It's amazing the work that you've done and thank you so much for being here at Pueblo Fest. And just a shout out to uh, all the people out there who want to go into space. Hey, anything's possible in, in the world. Se vale soñar en grande. You could dream big if you're willing to put this to work. You have a heart, you work hard and don't give up. Si se puede, anything is possible. And uh, you, we're here with my buddy Eddie. We'll all go to space, so get to work. Ya dijimos, eh? nos vemos en el espacio.